Good morning, <coughs> guten morgen, magenta numaga, konnichiwa, bonjour. So, <coughs> um, I know it's been a very long time since I made a video, and since my dog decided to drink water at a uh, very convenient time <laughs> to distract me. <laughs> uh, I have been mulling, is the word mulling? I'll have to look that up later. <laughs> I've been dwelling on whether or not to uh, start making videos again. I don't want anyone to think that I'm a liar because about six months ago I, d I said that this is my last video. Um, I'm going to be doing it on a new channel. I made this account, I'd say about a year ago when my computer was having problems and it was glitching and I wasn't smart enough or wise enough to save my passwords on my email account so I couldn't log into my email. So I made a new email account um, and then my computer stopped glitching but I couldn't change the password on my email account because my cell phone number changed and I failed to change it. <laughs> so uh, they wanted to send me a text message to my old cell phone to verify that it was me because they were saying that me answering the security questions wasn't enough to say that it was me, but eventually somehow, I don't recall, but I recovered the old accounts. So then I had two emails. So I started using my second email as my main email and my old email was for stuff that, you know, that I get a report from my bank saying my, my monthly account information or whatever. So because I had two strikes on my old or my, my original channel, um, the Lord at the time had me not make videos anymore. Um, so my testimony, I don't know what videos they may have removed over the last several months but my testimony is on YouTube and I'm going to leave that account be although I'm going to be posting this video on my old account to tell people about my new one and I don't again I don't want people to say oh you're a liar you're just like everyone else you say this is your last video and then it's not your last video and you came back white noise, etc. You're just like everybody else. What a hypocrite you are. Um, yeah. Uh, honestly, I knew as far as my testimony is concerned, it's out there and I wasn't going to, there was nothing more to say. I was repeating myself a lot. Um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Consistency, speaking truth often and placing it out there and sharing my testimony that glorifies the Lord of what the Lord has done in my life. But now um, I'm moving on to the next page or the next stage. I'm cl I've closed that chapter and now I'm moving on to a new chapter that the Lord's taking me on and I'm going to be sharing it. So I'm continuing my testimony but um, in a different chapter. <laughs> so <clears throat> this new one um, I'm going to read to you, I'll start with this, I'll read Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 and 2. It says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. 
set your affection on things above not on things on the earth so <clears throat> my laundry's done <laughs> how, many, how many videos have i done <laughs> oh sorry um people dark winter has happened spiritually spiritually people have been taken over if you have eyes to see and people are focused on worldly things and they're speaking about things of this world now we know the whole world is a stage those of us who are his remnant those of us who truly have eyes to see we don't just say we see all these things we know truth we know him okay so as the world is being devoured by the Antichrist spirit and talking about worldly things as if they were real, as if there was any legitimacy to it, as if it were truth. I'm placed here to share my testimony to talk about the Lord and focus on the Lord and and help you hopefully that I'm not going to tell you what you should and shouldn't do but now is the hour of temptation which is now is the hour of testing you are being tested are you um, consumed by what's happening in the world and buying the lies they're selling and repackaging it and selling the same lies are you being deceived by the enemy because scripture says that the whole world will be deceived are you following along with the world or have you stepped away from the lies emptied the indoctrination that's inside your cup inside your vessel inside your temple this is your temple this is why these are called temples okay this is your temple this is your crown your crown your mind your lamp have you filled it with Christ with knowledge wisdom and understanding with his Holy Spirit or are you filling this up with the worldly things this is the spiritual warfare that's happening and people who claim to be born again people who claim to speak the truth are being consumed with paying attention to whatever the world's talking about okay now I chose not to watch I'll give you a small example the video of someone slapping someone okay um, it's all ceremonial, it's all satanic, it's all a stage. It's to get you to look, and people are. They're like curious, curiosity killed the cat. They're curious that what's going on over there? What are people talking about? When the Lord is like, look, I told you to come out of the world. I told you that, you know, if you don't come away from her, the harlot, the whore, you will suffer from her plagues. And her plagues are the plagues of lies, the plagues of darkness, that you will be accursed. Again, let me repeat, now is the hour of temptation. Are you tempted to look? Are you tempted to touch it? And I mean that in a figurative way, meaning that are you tempted to watch it, talk about it, repeat it, and have it consume and, and be in your mind and your crown? Right now, the Lord is calling me to get you to, to warn you, don't look, don't watch. Because those that are not protected by his Holy Spirit are being consumed spiritually. And again, if you have eyes to see, the Antichrist spirit has taken throne, is taken over this system. 
dark winter spiritually. People who are going down that path, let the filthy be filthy still. They're still filthy with lies. They're still filthy with, with fornicating with other spirits. They don't know it. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. So this new chapter that I'm um, uh, starting is I will just be reading scriptures and not talking about worldly things. I don't care what the economic forum says they're doing. I don't care what the president has said or how ridiculous that he can't form a sentence. Okay, the whole world is a crazy circus, like a dancing monkey to get you to watch. Satan's like, I want to consume your time. I want to consume your mind. If Satan's consuming your mind, your crown, he's got you. He's ensnared you. He's keeping you away from the Lord. When the Lord said, focus on him, put him first, focus on truth only, because now more than ever, either you're being, it's two different ways, you're either being consumed by the world, which most people are. Many are called, many are called, many have heard the knock on the door, but rather than having sup, spiritual bread with the Lord and staying with the Lord and staying in truth, they're like, well, I have to decode this stuff. I have to show people, you know, what this stuff looks like upside down and whatever, and all these numbers and whatever. And they're being consumed by the witchcraft and the sorcery. They're being consumed spiritually. It's sad and you know, you can only witness so much. As a watchman, you can only look at it so much where it it's devastating. It truly is devastating to see them falling away, the great falling away. They believe all these carnal things are going to happen. They're watching carnal worldly signs and trying to say that this is prophetic and trying to connect it when the Lord didn't ask you to do that. He said, put him first. Jesus Christ is truth. Put truth first. Stay in truth. Stay on that rock because everyone else is on that quicksand and they're up to their necks about to be completely devoured. And the Lord is long suffering and the Lord is merciful, and he's placed me here to share my testimony and to encourage and edify those who are actually in the body of Christ to not take part of their inequities. Don't take part by being too consumed by paying too much attention to it because you will be devoured too. Again, let me repeat this. Now is the hour of temptation. Are you tempted to stay in the world and, and be involved? Or are you in Christ's kingdom and staying in truth and truth only? I love you. Um, I hope this video finds you well. I hope that you are in the same peaceful place as I'm in because Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. And if you're not at peace, then you need to reevaluate whether or not you're truly born again and whether or not you've cast all other spirits out of you and you're filled with Christ's Holy Spirit. So, um, again, I'm not a liar. Uh, I did believe that my last warning video was my last video, but now that I've closed that chapter, 
of my testimony. Now I've opened a new one and hopefully um, encourage you to stay in Christ's kingdom and come out of her. I love you and God bless.